Welcome to your video on solving multi-step equations, and we are calling this multi-step one, combining like terms. We're going to start with some steps here for you to solve, and we're going to fill these in just one at a time. The first thing you want to do is look for like terms on the same side of the equation. So when you're doing this, it helps to underline the like terms, so if you have an x and an x, you could put those together, but only if they're on the same side. Um, our hint here is you always put variables with variables and numbers with numbers. Step two is to get all of the variables to one side and all of the numbers to the other side. Now here I say to move the variables to the left side just because most of you are used to solving equations with variables on the left, but there's nothing wrong with putting it on the right. But once you start switching variables to the opposite side of the equation, you have to use opposite operations. So we have two things underlined here. If they're on the same side, you put them together by combining like terms. And if they're on opposite sides, you use opposite operations. Once you get this done, you're going to recognize these steps from previous lessons. Step three is to get the variable by itself, or isolate the variable, by undoing addition and subtraction. So always do that first. And then next, you're going to continue to isolate the variable by undoing the multiplication and division. And remember, sometimes if there's a fraction, um, you use the reciprocal. So instead of using you know, multiplication or division, you can use that technique as well. All right, so let's get started with some examples. Our first problem here. You'll notice that we have a bunch of x's. We have a 3x on the left-hand side, we have a 4x and a minus 5x on the right-hand side. And if you look back at the steps that we just filled in, we have variables on the same side that need to be combined. So we're going to underline the 4x and the minus 5x. So if I put a positive 4x together with the minus 5x, I get a negative 1x. And I would actually recommend writing the negative 1. It's not necessary, but it will be helpful. Everything else is just going to come down. I haven't changed any other piece of the equation. So now we're back to an equation where we have variables on both sides. And so I just said, let's move them to the left, because that will make it look pretty standard. So if I have a negative 1x, I want to move it to the opposite side of the equation. I have to do the opposite operation. So to cancel off a minus 1x, I have to do a plus 1x. Notice how we lined up the like terms. So the 1x is right beneath the 3x. Put those together, 3x plus 1x is 4x and everything else comes down. And you'll start to see as we go through these steps, we're just simplifying the equation, and now we're back to a two-step equation. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides, because we have to undo addition and subtraction first, bring everything else down, and now we're going to divide both sides by 4, using the fraction bar to indicate division, and then reduce. 8 divided by 4 is 2. In our next example, you're going to see something very similar here, although we have a few more x's to deal with. The first thing I'd like you to do is on the left-hand side is put a 1 in front of the x. We call that our invisible 1. It'll just help you as you are combining your like terms. So notice on the left-hand side, I've got a 1x and a 2x. So I'm going to underline those, and I'm going to put those together to make a 3x. But I have some more like terms on the left-hand side. I also have a positive 4 and a negative 7. So those two need to get put together. And if I combine a positive 4 with a negative 7, we end up with a negative 3. Bring down your equal sign, and then let's start working on the right-hand side. I have some like terms here as well. I've also got some x's that can be combined because they're on the same side of the equation. So we're going to put 7x together with a minus 3x, and that would be 4x. And then our plus 8 is just going to come down because there aren't any other like terms there. So our combining like term step is done. Now we have an equation that has variables on both sides. So we're going to scoot our variables over to the left-hand side. So to do that, I have a positive 4x, so I need to do the opposite because it's moving to the opposite side. So I do minus 4x. Notice how, we're, again, we're lining up the like terms. 3x take away 4x is a negative 1x. You don't need the negative 1, but again, I'm going to recommend it. Everything else comes down. Now we want to get rid of that minus 3 by doing the opposite. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. Bring down your minus 1x. Combine the 8 and the 3 to make 11. And then our final step is to divide by the negative 1. And our answer will be x equals negative 11. That concludes our lesson on multi-step equations 1. You can now proceed to the assignment.